Welcome guys and girls to another division video. Now in today's video I just wanted to give you the easiest step by step guide to getting into the tier 3 global event leaderboards. Now the leaderboard consists of how many credits you can earn in one hour and in this guide if you watch it and follow it you should have no problem whatsoever to get into tier 3 now a lot of people might be asking why should I get into the leaderboards and the answer is you can get some really unique rewards come the end of the global event so for example come the end of the global event you'll get three guaranteed classified caches and one large global event cache and this will consist of a unique outfit specified for each global event and also three unique weapon skins so now that's out the way let me just tell you I do run it in a squad of four that's just because everyone was online but I'd also recommend in a squad of two or three because when you come to do HVTs if there's only two of you it'll be a lot easier because there'll be less NPCs to kill which will ultimately make it a lot faster and if you do want to jump to any step in the video I will put timestamps in the description but without further ado let's move on and I hope you enjoy the video so first off let me just um, display this description of the method that I use and this is mainly aimed to more experienced players who are now don't need a, a full in detail description of each part so feel free to screenshot this or write it down and it's just basically we're going to be going for 10,000 credits in the one hour we're going to farm skirmish for the 20 caches do a HVT run and then three Lexington runs and that'll give us in total 10,000 credits and it takes around 50, 50, 55 minutes and that'll guarantee you a spot in the leaderboards and you'll get all the rewards that are issued but if you are a newer player and you're still not too sure what to do uh, continue watching and I'll break the, the parts down into a little bit more detail so you know exactly how to get the 10,000 credits so step one is go into skirmish and play it at your own leisure try and enjoy it I know there's a few people out there who don't really enjoy PvP so maybe try and just go in with a support build and help out the, the team now you want to stay in skirmish until you've acquired 20 caches skirmish caches and the way you can find out or keep a record of how many you've earned is at the end of each game it will come up on the screen I think you get two skirmish caches for a win and one if you lose but you participated in the game an important point to make is before you go into skirmish make sure your backpack isn't full you need at least maybe 40 slots free that way you don't overspill into your expansion stash and just keep playing through keep count of how many caches you've got and as I say play at your own leisure but don't exit skirmish until you have all the caches and the timer won't start for the hour to get the credits until we move on and we go on to the HVTs but I need to make another important point when you exit skirmish and you know you've got 20 caches do not open any of the skirmish caches until I say so 
otherwise the credit farm won't work. So step two is getting rid of all the other caches that you got in Skirmish. So basically when you've finished Skirmish you come out and you want to open up the sealed weapons caches and gear caches and just get rid of them. But as I say, do not open the skirmish caches. You want to just keep them there so they're easier to open for later on. So once you've got rid of the, the gear and the weapon caches that you also acquired from skirmish, your list should look the same as mine. You should have a total of 20 skirmish caches. Now we're just going to leave them alone and we're going to move on to part 3 which is doing a HVT run. So the next step is step 3 and this will be your HVT run. You want to come over to this agent in the corner, the officer, and she will be able to provide you with the HVTs. Now there's two ways to attack this. You can either do it in a squad of four, which the benefits are that's four people with target intel, or you can do it in a team of two or three, and that way it'll be a lot quicker because there'll be less NPCs, but you need to make sure that if there's only two of you, you both have enough target intel to buy all the HVTs. So as you move to your first HVT, this is where I was talking about before the one hour for the 10,000 credits. The timer doesn't actually start until you finish the first HVT and it says mission complete because that's when you'll receive the GE credits and the timer sort of starts but the main method that we like to use is once the mission's complete one of the team members goes and buys the next HVT and why he does that I'll go into my menu and this is where you'll start opening up your skirmish caches and we just keep rotating once I've opened all my caches then I can go and start buying the HVTs and this way this will make sure efficiently each person opens all the skirmish caches and gets the global event credits from them. So for your final step which is step 4 we're going to be doing the three back to back runs of Lexington so as soon as you're done with your HVTs quickly fast travel over, start the mission up and once you've done three runs of Lexington that should approximately take you 50 minutes easily because once we done the, the Lexington runs we also had enough time to just go over and do two world bosses which give us just over 10k credits and then all you want to do then is wait for the global event leaderboards to refresh and you should see yourself right up there in tier 3 with 10,000 global event credits. So once the leaderboards are reset you want to come over to the the global event section and as you can see I'm easily in tier 3 after following all the steps in the guide now you can sit back and relax and hopefully enjoy all the rewards that you'll get at the end of the global event. And don't forget to head over to the vendor and spend your hard earned 10k credits. You know, spend them at the, your own leisure, buy some caches and hopefully you'll get the classifieds and exotics that you might need. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. And this is the method that I've used throughout all the global events. So feel free to do the same. And hopefully you found 
the video informative and you can go yourself and collect all the unique vanity items from each global event and finally I just want to say an absolute massive thank you for everyone who takes the time out of the day to watch my videos I'm closing in on 1000 subs which is insane I can't even explain into words how crazy that is because I am a new channel and I just want to try and give you the best videos that I possibly can so yeah if, if this video did help you you know don't forget to leave a like and as always leave a comment and I will reply and if you haven't done so already please subscribe and until next time guys I'll see you later